Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about related rates. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. An observer stands 700 feet away from a launch pad to observe a rocket launch. The rocket blasts off and maintains a velocity of 900 feet per second. Assume the scenario can be modeled as a right triangle. How fast is the observer to the ro to, uh, how fast is the observer to rocket distance changing when the rocket is 2,400 feet from the ground? So let's get an image. They said we have a, a right triangle going on here. We can assume, okay? So I'm gonna kind of put this out here, a little right triangle if I can draw one nicely. Okay. So here's that rocket. All right, let me draw a little rocket here. Don't judge my drawing skills, please. All right, we have a little, little flare thing at the bottom here. Whatever. Okay, here's my, my rocket. And there we go. The rocket is going up at a rate, they tell us, of 900 feet per second. So let's call this the y side. And so our rate with respect to time, dy dt, is equal to that 900 feet per second. Okay, the rate at which the rocket's going upwards, okay? Now, the overall height, the moment where this all, whole thing happens, is a height of 2,400 feet. That's when the, the moment we're talking about, when that height is 2,400 feet. Let's call this length x, okay? And the person is 700 feet away, this little person, the observer, okay? So we have uh, uh, 700 feet away, and the height of the rocket at the moment is 2,400 feet, and we'll see, call this length z, okay? But they want to, they're asking us how fast is the observer to rocket distance changing? So we want to find dz dt here. That's what we're looking to find. Now, let's go find the length of z right there, okay? Like the z, we're doing our our a squared plus b squared equals c squared, Pythagorean theorem. And so we have um, the length, uh, let's go y, was 2,400 feet, so we have 2,400 squared plus 700 squared is equal to z squared. Square root both sides here, and don't worry about the minus, obviously, because we can't have a negative distance going on here. And this actually comes out to be a nice, neat number of 2,500 feet. Okay, so we got that z value calculated pretty easily using geometry or Pythagorean theorem to uh, 2,500 feet. Got that. All right. Well, the formula here is that Pythagorean theorem, that's going to be the equation that we need. Okay, so we have our y squared plus our x squared is equal to our z squared. Okay, now. Luckily for us, we know uh, we don't really have to worry about the x value. Okay, that's given to us at 700 feet. Uh, same with the y value, but we'll plug it in a little bit. So I'm going to uh, deal with that. We don't have a rate really going on with that x value. Um, you'll see in a minute it's not really changing, but we see that here, and we have our y squared plus 700 squared equals z squared. Now I'm going to derive both sides with respect to time. Okay. So to do that, I have my d over dt, uh, what I got going on here, and of course I did this, d over dt. Um, let's go rewrite that. So we have d over dt, let's do each part here, of y squared plus d over dt of 700 squared equals d over dt of z squared. Ah, what the? There we go. So many little things going on. All right. Well, here, derivative with respect to time of y squared. It's kind of like chain rule. Two comes out, or power rule. Two comes down. Y, exponent of search acts by one. Now the chain rule, dy, dt. All right, deriving with respect to time. Plus, the derivative of a constant is just zero. Don't really need that. Now here, same thing. Two comes down times z, just like the y. And then we have dz dt, okay? Not too bad. Well, let's plug in, well, what we know, or we don't really need a zero, we can kind of erase that. But the two cancels out right there, don't need that either, okay? Divide both sides by two and it's gone. 
Our Y value at the moment is 2,400 feet. So we can put that in, 2,400 feet times the rate at which the rocket is constantly moving up is 900 feet per second. Be multiplied, 900 feet per second. And that's equal to Z, which we found, 2,500 feet, times the rate dz dt, which we want to find. So now to get that by itself, we divide both sides by 2,500 feet to both sides. And what do we get? We have dz dt is equal to, well, look at the units, the feet cancel out right here, okay? And if you take 2,400 times 900 divided by 2,500, it actually comes out to be a nice neat number of 864. Funny how that happens. And our units left is just feet per second, which makes sense because it's this linear rate changing. So, when the, how fast is the observed to rocket distance changing when the rocket is 2,400 feet from the ground, our rate changing is 864 feet per second. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.